Hello, it's Nest Tilson here. In this video, I'd like to show you how to set up shelves and vertical partitions or vertical divisions inside your cabinets. For polyboard, any horizontal panel is a considered a shelf. That's when it's inside the actual outer volume of the cabinet is considered a shelf, and all vertical boards or panels are called uprights. I mean, we could also call them partitions or separations in your in your cabinet. Polyboard will call them uprights. Um, let's just go into a simple cabinet mode here, where I've just called up the basic box shape of a simple cabinet and you'll notice that when I move my mouse over the inside of this particular box polyboard will highlight the inside as a sort of light blue to show that the inside volume of the box is now the process of being selected if I click the inside the inside will now go dark blue and what I will get as well which is an interesting feature of polyboard is that we have here the actual inside dimensions you have a look here on these sides of the inner volume we have the inside dimensions of this volume this is a very useful feature if you just want to use the free version of polyboard to build your cabinets you can actually get the cutting lists from analyzing the inside volume measurements of your cabinet well that's that'll be another subject which we'll go into in another video in this video let's just see how we can add parts to this inner volume and these parts basically are going to be horizontal parts which are shelves and vertical parts which are called uprights or you might prefer to call them vertical uh, partitions or separations so how do we add shelves and uprights to our project well we just let's leave the mouse over the inner volume once it's been selected here we click right with the mouse and we will bring up the edition of our inner volume menu. We have the possibility to add to our inside of our cabinet here. We, put, we can add shelves, uprights, which we're going to look into in this video. We can also add other things like double backs, free divisions, inner casings, doors and drawers, regular drillings. All these, will, these options we'll be looking into in other training videos. For the time being let's just add a shelf so I'm going to click on add shelf and this brings up the add shelf dialog box where we have several possibilities we have the possibility to add one shelf which will divide one horizontal shelf in this volume will divide the volume into two volumes so we have possibility of adding this shelf either positioning it proportionally saying it's 50% 50% pi and default it will be in the middle like that or we can say it's 60% from the bottom which leaves me 40% from the top or you can say that it has a specific distance so I, I could also tick the distance from bottom position option and I can add then from this bottom board here the bottom of my bit cabinet I can add a specific distance say for instance if I add 500 here you see the other dimensions the other distances from the top and the proportional uh, options are dynamically modified as I modify the distance from the bottom 600 from instance here if I choose distance from top it's the top option which is now become active and I can modify the distance from the top of my bit of cabinet so here if I put 600 the bottom distance will modify itself so you have very flexible simple flexible way of positioning your board and this represents a distance between the two boards that is the distance here between the top and the shelf that I'm going to put in Let's put in from this 1 meter 20, which leaves me at the bottom 743 millimeters. We also have the possibility of defining different types of shelves. We're going to put we can put in a fixed shelf or a mobile shelf. A fixed shelf or a mobile shelf is in fact just the way polyboard is going to manage the assembly details of this particular shelf or the characteristics, shall we say, of this particular shelf in relationship to the rest of the of the cabinet. Basically speaking, if you're we're just starting off using polyboard, let's stay with either a fixed shelf or a mobile shelf. That is a shelf which is going to be fixed onto our cabinet um, structure or a mobile shelf which would just be 
placed on adjustable pegs in our cabinet. For the moment let's just put one distance from the bottom say 100 millimeters and if I click OK we can see that polyboard immediately puts the shelf in. I can see now when I move the mouse over my cabinet that when I move it over the lower volume underneath the shelf we get a volume which is highlighted in blue. If I click polyboard will now give me the dimensions here of the inside of this lower volume. If I click on the upper volume polyboard will give me the dimensions of this upper volume inside this upper volume. If I click right now with my mouse over the volume I'll get the same menu and I can put in other elements. If I put, put in for instance an upright, I click upright and I'll get the same menu approximately, only difference being that I position it proportionally either to the left or the right or distance from the left, distance from the right. Let's put one in the middle here, call it vertical division. I have several other possibilities. These possibilities, we will look into the possibilities of, of giving another classification of upright, two, upright, three, etc. to the vertical separation. These will be used when we're using manufacturing methods and things like this, but we'll talk about that in another video. But let's just put for the time being one in the middle here, and polyboard is just thrown in a vertical board here. And now this vertical board as well, if we look closely, we've seen that the volume, as I move my mouse over, has been divided into another two sub-volumes. One, two here. And each time, polyboard is giving me the inside dimensions of this volume. When one volume is selected, I click right, and I can add shelves. Let's say this time we're going to add in this particular volume several shelves. Imagine that we're going to add a certain quantity of shelves. So I, I'm going to up this quantities list box, text box, and I, let's put in, let's put in, I don't know, let's say so seven shelves here. If I put in a certain number of shelves and I click OK, Polyboard will divide the space up into eight spaces, seven shelves, eight spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces. Example model, let's go back and let's look at this 3D model here. And we see that Polyboard has added these shelves here. Now, if I go back into this model here and I look at the different volumes, I have the possibility of saying, well, any particular shelf, I can highlight one particular shelf. If I click right when I highlight, I have the possibility to, to delete it. I click delete. And now we have got a, a double space here. Every space that I create will react individually. So if I click on this space here, this volume here, click right, I can also add shelves into this volume, or I can add uprights, let's put an upright here, let's put two, which, and this volume now is divided into three. So you see, using this method here, let's put in some uprights here, let's put in three uprights, we can very quickly divide the shelf, let's put some shelves in here, let's put in four, it becomes very easy and very quick, let's put some shelves in here, one, and let's put some shelves in here. Let's put in also five. It's very easy and quick to modify the, the different shelves and the different volumes of our cabinet as we go. And note that this is really not only fast and easy, but as Polyboard is maintaining all the cutting lists and the machining files, as we design, we are saving really a lot, a lot of time uh, and potential error by using this way of dividing up the inner volume of our cabinet. So let's add a few uprights here. Let's add, for instance, four uprights. And let's say in this upright we have one in the middle. Let's say this upright we have two shelves. And this upright we have one shelf. And this upright we have, let's say, four shelves. And this one has had another two shelves. And here's our cabinet, our shelf system. We've drawn this really very quickly like that. Okay, thank you for looking at this little video. I hope that it's been interesting for you and has shown you just how simple, supple, fast 
and easy it is to set up shelves and divisions inside the, a cabinet using polyboard. Thank you very much. See you soon in another video. Goodbye.